you know, there's a lot of people who double major. So in terms of whether it's possible or not, it, it totally is. Um, even with um, some of the majors that have uh, more hours in their major requirements, um, it's doable. We don't really promote it as a way to bolster a resume, I would say. What we try to do is sort of get to know students, um, find out what their in interests are, what their passions are, and match them up with the set of experiences at Agnes Scott and in the surrounding area that will best suit them, best um, allow them to explore and um, allow them to take that next step after Agnes Scott. Often that's not a double major. Often that's delving deeper into their major or having um, co-curricular experiences that really provide context for what they're passionate about. For, as a student who liked a lot of things, I think the sort of double majoring and minoring and things like that, multiple, I mean, sometimes we'll have double majors who are also minoring in something. Um, there are, it's totally, un, that impulse is really understandable. And if you have a real, really strong sense of what you want to do next, there may be a really good reason for adding that, that minor on. Maybe it puts you in a better position for graduate school or something like that. Um, the one, uh, and one way that Agnes facilitates this is that we do have so many cross-listed courses that it can, it can, and it's a small campus, so it's quite easy for you to kind of meet with a professor from one department and meet with one from another, or even see both of them at the same time. Um, so those are some, some good things about it. I would say a, a downside is that it may not free you up to take as many classes in other departments. Um, and so one, sometimes one downside is that you may miss out on getting kind of part of what's really cool, I think, about a place like Agnes, which is that you can take these incredible classes that everyone just described. You know, you may not want to be a history major, but you love learning about the South and you take Dr. Morris's class, but you're a neuroscience major. Um, and so the kind of sometimes the more you tackle and the less freedom you have to do that kind of exploration sometimes. Um, but there are also lots of really good reasons to do it too. There are lots of reasons to, there are lots of opportunities to sort of explore these connections, right? So Dr. Morris teaches a class, Old South, New South, No South, and I teach a class in sociology called Race, Place, and the New South. And we've always wanted to teach it together <laughs> um, to One sort day. of do that interdisciplinary thing. But there are so many, there's lots of places where there's overlap and connections and ways to, to explore that. As uh, I, you know, this is not the Amy Confoss panel, this is the faculty panel, but I do want to say I double majored at Agnes Scott and there were beautiful things about it because like Professor Whitworth said, there already is such a strong connection between the programs, um, but absolutely it takes a lot of time where you have to take courses in two different majors and it does pull you out of having the opportunity to, for me, I would have loved to take more history courses. So there definitely is sort of a push and pull with it. So you can come visit anytime. I, I really should. So it's a great thing, students, like if you want to have that conversation with your admission counselor, but we can connect you with faculty members, a summit advisor, if you want to talk more about um, some of your ideas for that.